UK plant pathologist Paul Vincelli is inspecting a field of mature corn for a disease called stalk rot. It's one of the most common and important corn diseases. Some industry estimates say that it's annually causing losses of between 5 and 6 percent of the worldwide corn crop. A handful of different types of fungi are blamed for most stalk rot, and the damage can be dramatic. They are fungal diseases, uh, and these are infections of the usually the lower stalk uh, down near the soil line, and um, that causes the uh, stalk of the plant to become weakened, sometimes prematurely killing the um, stalk, but um, more commonly causing the stalk to become weakened so that like when the, when the field is mature, if the grower doesn't get in and harvest right away, sometimes a good strong gust of wind in a storm system can cause the, you know, much of the field to, to, to fall over. Vangeli says that right now there's no complete solution to corn stalk rot. Planting the right population densities, applying the correct amount of nitrogen, and using more resistant varieties can help. But such measures have proven to be no more than a holding action. That's where UK plant pathology researcher Lisa Valancourt comes in. She arrived in Kentucky in 1996 looking for a challenging topic. Hybrid corn growers and seed dealers had a suggestion. They told me that one of the biggest problems they deal with is corn stalk rot and that they really didn't know what to do about the problem because it's, it's one of the disease problems that's really difficult to, to um, manage through resistance. I mean, you can get resistance, good resistance in the field, but the resistance always tends to break down late in the season. And even if you have very good resistance, sometimes that could happen. Valancourt says that 10 years of painstaking lab work and new advances in genetic technologies are yielding a much clearer understanding of how the fungi live within the corn plant. We've learned, for example, where the fungus or the fungi are when they're in that benign phase before they start to rot. We've, we've learned that they're basically hiding inside the stalk and we've learned where they're hiding, what kind of cells they're hiding in. You know, finding their hiding place means that we may have a chance of, of disrupting them at that point. Recent advances in gene mapping and other research techniques may allow her team to develop a new genetic strategy to target all the fungi that cause stalk rot. We've, we've actually been able to identify some of the genes that are really important in terms of, of this switch to this rotting behavior. And, and some of them have been really unexpected, things that, that um, we didn't necessarily anticipate and have led us into new areas that, that might actually be useful for, um, for all of these, these fungi that cause stock rot. Valancourt's work may eventually alter the way plant pathologists like Paul Vincelli walk through that cornfield looking for diseases. Until then, corn producers are still urged to check with their local county extension agents for agriculture for various ways to lessen potential damage from this complex disease. For Growing Kentucky, this is Mark Eklov reporting.